Thanks, Rob. Hey, Jeremiah, good to see you, man. Um, Paul D. Podesta just said there was a lot of pacing going on with the Browns tonight, worried that they, you weren't going to slide to them. What does that mean to you that they moved up? They wanted you so bad that they made a trade to go up and get you. Man, a glorious feeling, man. It's a, it's a monumental feeling. I'm, I'm so glad that, uh, you know, the coaches gave me an opportunity to be able to uh, show, you know, uh, why I'm supposed to be where I'm supposed to be. And, uh, you know, it's all love. It's, 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 um, it's a genuine feeling that, you know, uh, the coaches will take a chance on me, and you know, I'm appreciative of that. Glory uh, be to God. So, And from what I understand, they're already drawing up things on the whiteboard for you that you perfectly fit their scheme. How excited are you to be a part of a team that you know you're going to come right in and be able to make an impact? Yes, sir. Look, I'm working right now already. I told, told my mom I'm about to go outside and run on the beach, maybe run a mile <laughs> or two. So, you know, man, you know, the coaches have a, have a great system, uh, you know, a system that's not based off of, uh, you know, uh, you know, just perfection and, and, and guys that, uh, you know, uh, need to just be all structured. But, you know, the system is really a structured system that, that allow you to fly around and make plays. And, uh, you know, I'm really appreciative, again, of the opportunity. Uh, I believe when I was in the meeting, the coach, uh, the coordinator said to me, he said, all, all bark, uh, you know. And so so when, when the all bark happens, excuse me, not all bark, but no bark, all bite, excuse me, that's what it was. No bark, all bite. So uh, even in that in that uh, understanding, it's an all action uh, type of uh, defense, all action type of team. And you know, again, I'm appreciative of it. Thanks, man. Yes, Thanks, sir. Tom. We'll go to Nate Ulrich. Hey, Jeremiah, congratulations. Uh, I, I just wanted to ask you, what was this? Uh, you know, past 24 hours like? And I know a lot of us thought you were going to be gone in round one, and Paul D. Still even said tonight to us, you know, the Browns chief strategy officer that he could, you could have been their pick at, at round one. So what, what are the emotions been like and how are you feeling? Well, it's, it's an, uh, it's been a, a patient one. Uh, me, my, my spirituality is extremely strong for me. So um, it, was a, it was a point where I had to take a, a stance of faith to be able to just lock in on, you know, my responsibilities to be able to lock in on con controlling the controllables, uh, you know, uh, being able to understand. Hold up, I'm, I'm in the interview, please. Okay. Yeah, so I'm sorry, uh, people were knocking on the door. Um, but yeah, it's just a matter of controlling what you can control and the things that you can't control. Um, you know, you gotta let those things by, so. Now, guys use all different kinds of things. Uh, you know, is this something that will motivate you? Say again? Is this something that will motivate you? It has to be something that'll motivate you, but uh, again, my, my motivations lie strictly uh, within the game of football, my appreciation for football. Um, I'm not going to use uh, something that's external um, in terms of, uh, you know, a draft or, you know, people not picking me. Uh, you know, I see those linebackers that are going in front of me. I see those defenders that are going in front of me, but uh, you got to take certain things and, and, and add energy to certain things. So, you know, what you put your thoughts to, that's what you give your energy to. So if I, I rely on that and I think so much on that, I'll be prompting on the past. Um, and right now we're in the future. Right now we're in, in the present. So, you know, there's things that I got to get done right now. So. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mary Kay Cabot, you have our next question. Hey, how you doing? Good, how you doing? In, in studying up on you a little bit, I mean, there's so many things that you can do. I mean, I see everything. Uh, blitz, covering tight ends, covering slot receivers, uh, you know, forcing fumbles, all, everything that you can do. So can you just sort of describe yourself? I've seen, uh, you know, modern day linebacker, you know, things like that. Can you give us the description of who you are and what you're bringing to the table here? Yeah, I mean, wow. Well, I mean, I, I almost don't have to answer this question because you answered it yourself. But you know, even in the, in, the, in that uh, case, I'm a versatile guy. Um, I can be in the box, I can be on the edge, and I can be um, in the apex, or as we would call uh, the alley player. Uh, you know, and I, I think that's the reason why the Cleveland Browns chose me uh, because I can do all those things. Uh, so if I was to describe myself, I would describe myself as being talented. I would describe myself as being hardworking and a guy that's versatile in everything that he does. Uh, so, you know, I'm looking forward to getting to work and I'm looking forward to these guys uh, taking me in. I'm looking forward to adapting to the culture. So. And do they, and uh, you know, they're going to use you as a linebacker. Do you appreciate that as opposed to some people kind of talked about you a little bit as a safety, which I think would be a little bit of a reach, but are you happy that you'll be a linebacker here? 
Um, I'm happy with whatever position they put me in. Uh, you know, uh, it goes back to, you know, just being able to, to love these things, man. I love, um, you know, I love football. I love the game. I love the process. I love what it has taught me. Uh, it's almost a father figure to me, uh, you know. So, you know, even in that, that appreciation for the game, you know, you get out there and you'll play linebacker, safety, quarterback. If they're allowed, no, I wouldn't play quarterback. But, you know, but, you know, you, just, you know, you get out there and play any position that they put you at it. And, and whatever, find out what the culture is, and which the coach I repeated all the time, smart, tough, and accountable. Um, There's the three pillars. And uh, those are things that I'm looking to hark on, so. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am, excuse me. <laughs> Thanks, Mary Kay. Dan Lobby. Hey, Jeremiah, congratulations. Um, sure. Of all the things you can do, what's your favorite? What, what do you love doing most on the football field? Uh, tackling. I like, you know, the tackling is, is what, what makes the money. Tackling is what, uh, you know, gets the, gets the defense off the field, gets the offense off the field. Uh, you know, tackling is something that, you know, I love to do, uh, whether it's a hard hit, whether it's a, a, a rap and roll hit, whether it's a, a, a certain technical hit. I like tackling. That's, a, that's what I, you know, what the game is about, and that's, you know, what I'm here for. So. Thanks, Thanks Thank Dan. You. Dale Ryder, go ahead. Hey, Jeremiah, welcome to Cleveland. Um, you talk about your versatility, and when you watch on film, you're, you're everywhere. <laughs> um, is there a particular player that you, uh, you know, looked up to or you tried to model your game after as you were coming up? Well, yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, as I was coming up, you know, I was looking at guys like Deion Jones, guys like Jamal Adams, uh, guys like, um, you know, uh, Charles Tillman, a more, more older guy, guys like Ed Reed. Uh, these guys that, 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 you know, not only exemplified uh, what it took to get to the next level on the field, but also off the field. And that's what I was huge on as well. Um, so those are really, you know, some key guys that I really was up to. Um, and right now, you know, I've been watching a lot of Darius Leonard film and uh, just how he's, you know, making this impact and you know, being doubted and stuff. So You're the, the eighth guy that's been added to this Browns defense this offseason. Could you just – Talk about joining uh, a, a Browns team coming off of a, a great season, looking to take that next step and, uh, you know, being one of those teams in the NFL that are on the rise and you having an opportunity to come here and really play a big part in helping them take that next step. Yeah, I mean, I love, I'm, I'm glad to be on a, a good culture team, a traditionally sound team, a team that is uh, looking to win, that is ready to win, that it is winning. Uh, you know, coaching staff, that's all about competing, but uh, not more about results. Uh, but more about the process. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really, uh, you know, enthused to be able to be on the squad, you know, get to know these teammates and, you know, build right away. So, Thanks, Daryl. Jeff Shadell, go ahead. I was going to ask you about that. Uh, have you followed the Browns at all? And first off, like, where are you calling us? Uh, where are you talking to us from right now? Yeah, I'm in the peninsula of Virginia. I'm in the 757 area. So do you know much about the Browns and what this fan, this fan base, you should have heard the cheers for you when uh, your name was announced. How exciting is that for you? Yeah, I'm very familiar with the Browns. I was watching uh, all throughout the season last year and I was at, believe it or not, um, I was actually picturing myself within the scheme. Of, I was, as I was watching them play last year, I'm sitting down with one of my coaches from Notre Dame and uh, it's just been a blessing to see everything come to fruition. Um, and, you know, Man, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, you know, words can't explain. Thanks, Jeff. Marla Reidenauer, go ahead. Uh, yeah, Jeremiah, congratulations. Um, when you were watching, was that the playoffs? When you said yes. you were watching the Browns? Well, it was a little earlier in the season. I did watch a couple of the playoff games. Um, but just just, just understanding kind of like how these guys played, how they ran, a while, how they ran around, uh, the aggressiveness that they did, and um, you know, and not a lot of guys were chatting. It was all about action again. Uh, so, yeah. And I, I, I know your explosiveness is God given, but was there a point when you realized you had it, you know, and you had that, that ability to, you know, kind of change the game with your fero fer ferocity, I guess? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't think there was a specific point. I think, um, um, all throughout, you know, uh, my high school years, all throughout my middle school years, I was a big guy on the, the sand, uh, the beach, and I was a big guy on the hills. We have a lot of hills out here with Mount Trashmore. Um, and, and, and Virginia, we like to hearken on those to give us an edge. 
so, you know, my explosiveness comes from doing certain drills on that hill, I believe, but, you know, also it's God-given. Uh, stupid question, but have you ever met AI? Oh, yeah. That's my guy. Yeah. <laughs> That's my guy. You, you think yeah. he'll come to some games? God will, yeah, God willing, man. He's um, he, he, we went to the same high school. Um, I'm cool with his manager, um, and you know, I've spoken to Reebok too. You know, so you know, uh, AI is really involved, and you know, uh, I'll probably you know get a text from him so, soon here, hopefully. Thanks, Marla. Our final question for Jeremiah will go to Scott Patrick. Hey, Jeremiah. First of all, do you know Greg Newsom at all? He literally just texted me as you said that. <laughs> Did you no. guys go back at all? No, I'm not familiar with him, but he just I just got a text message saying, hey, this is Greg Newsom. Hey, what's going on? I just got I literally just got the message. It's funny you said that. That is funny. Um <laughs> yeah. and then at number 26, when the Browns had that first round pick and took Greg, were you hopeful that they were gonna take you there? And what kind of what was that emotion like them not yeah. them coming up to get you? Yeah, absolutely. No, I had a um I'm glad they got him because I actually called that pick out. Like I was like, yo, they need, you know, uh get my boy Greg off of there. And, and I didn't know him. Uh, but I did, you know, was familiar with some of his stuff. Uh, but nevertheless, um, you know, I, you know, I did get a message um, specifically from my agents. It was like, hey, uh, you know, I was getting kind of these messages from different GMs and why, you know, I wasn't being picked and things like that. And, um, and uh, one from the Cleveland was like, hey, we didn't, so no, we had no issues with him. Like, you know, we just, you know, didn't expect him to be on the board. <laughs> so we were planning to just get a corner. Uh, you know, you know, Cleveland's pretty sound already, and they're like, okay, we just expect them, you know, to get a corner. So, uh, yeah. Thanks, Scott. Let's go ahead and take one more from Mary Kay Cabot. Yeah, just real curious here, Jeremiah. Did you have an opportunity uh, to ask Liam Eichenberg uh, and anything about Cleveland when you kind of were going through this whole process? Yeah, I didn't have anything to ask about, uh, you know, ask uh, Liam. That's my guy, but uh, you know we had a couple. We, I've heard a lot about about Cleveland because uh, uh, Sean Crawford is from there. Uh, Sean Crawford is a safety that we have here, so yeah.